So we've shown you how to paint brand new calipers, but the reality is most of you guys are gonna have something like we do on the C10 here. They're rusty, they've been on the truck for years, and we need to make them look a little bit better. Especially when you've got big wheels, you can see right through them, they look terrible. So we're gonna take Rust Encapsulator Platinum and our 2K Aerospray Caliper Paint, and we're gonna go ahead and show you how to clean them up and get rolling back down the road. First thing we gotta do, get our wheel off. Mm. Next, we're going to clean these up. The wire brush anything that's loose on them off. So we wire brush this down. Another thing we're going to go ahead and do is throw some cardboard down underneath. It'll help for anything that falls, grease, dirt, grime, that kind of stuff. But also once we get to the painting part, all of our overspray won't go all over our shop floor. Before you go ahead, finish this whole job and then try and squeeze your brakes back on uh, and then realize you have to compress that piston, we're gonna go ahead and compress that piston now. So that way our brakes go back together and we won't have to clamp on our freshly painted caliper. We don't even have to go all the way in, just a little bit so that it'll slide back together nice. All right, so we wire brushed. Now we can clean this with a little bit of pre-painting prep. Our caliper's looking pretty clean. Next, we can pop these out and tape up anything we don't want to get rust encapsulator and paint on. All right, now we can take our Rust Encapsulator Platinum and an acid brush and go ahead and apply it all over our caliper. You may find you have to get a little bit intimate with your brakes if you're doing this on the car. Okay, we've coated the whole caliper in Rust Encapsulator Platinum. Now we can let it sit for four hours and then go ahead and top coat with our 2K Aerospray Caliper Paint. Before spraying any aerosol, it's always a good idea to protect your car from overspray. If doing this on the car, like we are, you'll have to get a little creative. Now that the encapsulator is dry and the truck is bagged up, we can start painting. The caliper gets two medium wet coats over everything. I do two on the inside first, since it won't be seen, then slide it back over the rotor and do two coats on the outside as well. We then let it sit for about 25 minutes and reassemble. The final result is a caliper that looks fantastic and will hold up to abuse for years to come. And don't worry, we'll go back and hit the other components at a later time. For more information on our 2K caliper paints, head over to eastwood.com.